Welcome back to Leeds. Now you might remember from our last CN Explore visit to the city that we looked in depth at the conference and meeting scene, and that's fine. But what happens when the PowerPoint presentations get turned off? Where do delegates go and what do they do? What is there to experience in this city? Well, be it culture, nightlife or food and drink, I'm fairly sure the city's got you covered. So why don't we go and meet some people who can give us a little bit more information. This is Jane Boyro, Principal Keeper at Leeds Art Gallery. She gives us a flavour of what culture vultures can experience. The gallery was established in 1888 and we have got the best collections of 19th and 20th century work outside of the national collections. It's an absolutely brilliant city to be based in. Um, you can see a really cool gig at the Brudenell Theatre. As I say, visual arts are very strong. We've got the Henry Moore Institute next door to us, a world-class centre for sculpture, and we have the Tetley in an Art Deco historic building showing contemporary art. Well, um, I would also think about visiting a place like Round Hay Park, which is 700 acres of parkland if you want to take a lovely walk outdoors. Um, we could also visit the Kirkgate Market, which is the largest indoor market in Europe or take a boat down to Leeds Dock and visit the Royal Armouries. There are, of course, plenty of stately homes in the surrounding area. This is Harewood House. Anyone looking to indulge in a spot of history or for anyone who fancies getting lost in the acres of gardens certainly won't be disappointed. Heading back into the city of Leeds is a shopper's delight. The famous Harvey Nichols sits in the heart of the city. Then of course there's the massive Victoria Quarter shopping centre, itself a city within a city. Thirsty? Then fear not, there are plenty of pubs and bars and restaurants, and even a chap called Mike Hampshire, who owns Leeds Beer Tours. He'd take you on a pub crawl with a slightly more highbrow twist. If I could describe it in three words, I would say exciting, vibrant and pioneering. It's, it's a really cool beer scene. It was only 12 years ago that Tetley's Brewery, the major brewery in the city, actually closed down with hundreds of people losing their jobs and it left quite a hole in the Leeds beer scene, shall we say. And that kind of left a, a nice blank canvas for, for new brewers to come in. So I take people on guided tours around Leeds. I do offer two guided tours around beer. Uh, the first one is a Leeds Heritage Beer Tour, which we include this amazing venue behind me, which is White Locks, and that's all about exploring 300 years of beer history in the city, from the history of Tetley's, who we've just mentioned, right through to, to White Locks and everything in between. Whether you're a, a citizen of Leeds, whether you're just traveling here for, for a one-off for an event you've never been here before, it's not just about the beer. I've got to stress, it's you know, you're taking a guided tour around a city centre that you may have never seen before. You've got someone who's a local expert, so I can point out all the little cool nuances that are in around the city centre uh, and it really showcases well just how vibrant the city is and the, the beer culture. We've heard a lot about investment in the hotel scene in Leeds and it's nowhere more noticeable than at the recently refurbished Queen's Hotel. Located right next to the station, the multi-million pound makeover offers guests all the comforts they need to make their stay a memorable one. Dean Sygrove tells us more about the vibe in the city. It, the eclectic mix of the nightlife, uh, about everything that goes in Leeds, the cafe culture at Greek Street, the fantastic museums, the Royal Armouries. Uh, it's just the whole experience of a city that is, is just absolutely booming at this moment in time. And some beautiful little spots like the Corner Exchange at Leeds um, with a lovely little eclectic mix of shops. And then you've got some amazing shops in Trinity Centre, um, down Victoria Way, um, and also some of the best restaurants dare I say it, in the UK. From 1937, we had this original hotel. Uh, and from that point on, we've evolved. And then in June of last year, uh, we reopened. Uh, and it, it was a full refurb, um, approximately starting at 16 million. Um, we've not got quite the end figure as yet, but an absolutely tremendous refurb, including every single room in the hotel. Chris Swain is the Leeds Visitor Centre Manager. So what are his top tips and must visit advice for anyone visiting the city? One of the main things to do is really sort of head into the city centre, pedestrianise areas and see all that beautiful Victorian architecture and the modern architecture that we have in the city centre. Victoria Quarter, Kergate Markets and Trinity Leeds. Okay, what I enjoy the most is the, all the really, really good independent shops. So we have lots in the corn exchange and we have lots on the sort of side streets off the main pedestrianised areas. So really hard to find products you might 
not be able to find them anywhere else, you'll find them in Leeds. We've got so many museums and galleries in and around Leeds. So we've got the City Art Gallery, we've got the museum, we've got the Royal Armouries, and then we've got fantastic nightlife as well, all the bars and cafes down Call Lane, for example. The great thing about Leeds is it's a really good base for just hopping on a bus or a train or a short taxi ride away to the Yorkshire Dales, uh, to Ilkley, to Saltaire, loads of really quaint villages and countryside is just basically on the doorstep. So there we are, culture, history, gardens, shopping, food and a decent pub crawl. Leeds will have your delegates wanting to go back for more.